All right, guys, I didn't think it could be done. I, I didn't think it was possible, but Bungie managed to break Destiny 2, and it is absolutely amazing. So yesterday, the DLC released, and a lot of people were grinding for new weapons. I did the Red Death, like the mini Red Death, the hand cannon called the Crimson Review, and I thought that the Trace Rifle would kind of just be this leftover thing that was kind of decent, just like how the Cold Heart was, but the Prometheus Lens is ridiculous. Like, it's broken beyond repair. <laughs> Like I've been playing as much as I can on my account to try to get it, but I, I like I wanted to get this video out today So I've been playing all day trying to get it. I still couldn't get it. Uh, so we we're on Hellhound's account I it was so hard to find an account with this thing um, But it is like I okay it's, it's broken right now, and I think it needs a nerf But the problem is it's gonna be so good right now that when they do nerf it They're gonna turn the dial up to 11 and then just nerf it to the point where it's useless So like it needs to be toned down a little bit. I still want it to be good but the problem with it being this good right now is that in like a month or whenever they patch it, it's, it's most likely going to be horrible. So taking a quick look at it, we have Chambered Compensator, which increases stability, moderately controls recoil, and slightly decreases handling speed. Projection Fuse, which increases range. Flame Refraction, kills with this weapon return a fraction of the ammo used to the magazine, extending the beam's duration. And then for the fourth perk, we have Composite Stock, which slightly increases stability and slightly increases handling speed. And then finally, Prismatic Inferno fires a solar trace beam and generates a damaging heat field that grows while the weapon continues to fire. <laughs> Alright, so normally when I make these videos and I have to go into the PvP gameplay portion, I have to talk about, you know, how it feels, how it performs, but it's like, it's undisputed, like, the thing, it's broken, okay, it's, it's very, it's very good. And typically during a weapon review video, I'll get on the person's account, or if I have the weapon on my own account, I'll end up playing, like, ten games, because the first five games, you know, I'm not used to the weapon, I'm not very good with it, and it's very difficult for me to do really well, like, right off the bat. But with this weapon, it's like, this is my third game playing it, and you know, you just hop on for a few seconds, get three games in, and then go 27-0 each game, and you know, you're pretty much good to go at, at that point. And I know it's going to get nerfed pretty soon, but Bungie takes a while for patches to roll out, so I feel like we could be potentially seeing this thing in its current state for a few more weeks, or potentially even a month or two months. I highly doubt it's going to go beyond one month, but we could, we could very well be seeing this thing. Uh, for three to four weeks in its current state. So because Destiny 2 is not serious whatsoever and you know at this point everyone is just trying to have as much fun as possible, if you are lucky enough to get this weapon don't feel horrible about using it. I have had my butthole shredded by this thing at least a dozen times and it does get very annoying and for the matches that I played there was not a single match where it finished without either A a mercy or B without the entire other team leaving. That's how ridiculous it is. Is, and it it makes me rage matches as well but with the with the current state of the game and where it is if you have this thing just use it like I don't have it so I, I'm not exactly thrilled about it being here until I get it but um it's it's a blast to use if, if you're just trying to have you know full round have fun maybe even if your buddies have it uh, you can run a four stack with it it is it is a blast to say the least and as I mentioned earlier it is very obvious that this weapon is going to be receiving a nerf in the future my only hope is that they can kind of examine where it is right now and understand that it is ridiculously overpowered and instead of nerfing it like overcompensating and just nerfing into the ground make it to the point where it's still good just not to the point where you know if someone runs into a pvp match with it it's the equivalent of running through a field full of toddlers that are equipped with ping pong paddles meanwhile you have four machine guns a rail gun and a nuclear bomb Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. If you have it, abuse it, and if you don't have it, I pray for your safety in PvP. Um, if you already subscribed and you want to make... ...guys in my next video. Peace.
Wait to see what you do with that. Millions of times, I've seen you so strange.